Green hydrogen. You may have heard it touted as the next big thing, the thing that's going to help us get off fossil fuels, slow climate change, and power the future. Politicians are all abuzz about it, and business people are hyping it up too, but I didn't know what it was. The curse of oil is real, and so is the dependence of many of the world's democracies on the world's petro tyrants. It can be produced at large scale, stored for weeks and months to meet our peak energy needs in the winter, transported easily, and used in all the diverse ways that we use fossil fuels today. I wanted to know what goes into making this stuff, and how good for the environment is it really? So what makes it green? Hydrogen has been used as an energy source for decades. It's energy rich and can be used to power anything that uses electricity, like vehicles, planes, trains, and ships. A short range car can be brilliant running on batteries and we need them and there's a role for them. But if you want the sort of range to which we've become accustomed of 300 miles or more, hydrogen is head and shoulders ahead in terms of the overall efficiency. There are different ways to make hydrogen fuel, and all of them require some form of energy. That's because hydrogen in its natural form is usually bonded with another element. To use it, you first have to extract it from naturally occurring compounds like methane or water. And that process, splitting the hydrogen from the other atoms, takes a lot of energy. Say you used a fossil fuel like methane to make hydrogen and you power that process with more fossil fuels like coal. That process creates greenhouse gases, not so clean. So the resulting product is called grey hydrogen. If some of those greenhouse gases are captured, then you get blue hydrogen. But you can also make hydrogen from water, and if you use renewable energy like solar or wind, you have no greenhouse gases, and the resulting product is called green hydrogen the most eco-friendly way to produce hydrogen. But there are drawbacks. It might not be the environmental savior it's sometimes made out to be. For one, it takes a lot of energy to produce hydrogen. So why not just use that energy to power things directly? Rather than using wind to make hydrogen, we could just use the wind to generate electricity directly. But there is a big benefit to making green hydrogen. It lets you store renewable energy, capturing it for when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. And even renewable energy projects have a footprint on habitat, wildlife, and people. Where are you going to put those turbines or solar panels? And if you put a bunch of wind turbines in the ocean, how is that going to affect marine life or fishing? So where does green hydrogen end up? There's a real buzz about green hydrogen in Atlantic Canada. It's next to the open ocean, it has lots of wind power, and there's also the potential for tidal power. And it's a straight shot across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, which is looking for green energy to replace Russian gas. Some of the green hydrogen projects being proposed right now aim to export it to Europe. That would bring jobs and revenue to the places that produce green hydrogen. But there's also an argument for using energy locally rather than transporting it long distances through pipelines or by shipping. Using pipelines risks a leak, and the shipping industry still uses fossil fuels, so it's not very environmentally friendly either. And if you've got industries to decarbonize at home, why not just use green hydrogen here? So is green hydrogen the way of the future? Well, right now it's more expensive to produce than some alternatives, so demand is still relatively low. Right now, green hydrogen is about three to four times more expensive than that of grey hydrogen. So if this is to actually become a reality, we really need to bring those production costs down. Also, most of Canada doesn't have the infrastructure to store, distribute and use green hydrogen on a wide scale. For example, we don't have many hydrogen vehicles or fueling stations, but green hydrogen could at least be part of the energy mix in the future. The federal government wants to use hydrogen to help meet its goal of net zero by 2050. And it wants Canada to become a world leader in clean, renewable fuels. There's an electrolyzer in Quebec already producing green hydrogen for industry, and projects are planned in several other provinces. Fossil fuel companies are keen to get in on it too. 
They want to blend green hydrogen with natural gas to help decarbonize that sector. But most existing pipelines and home appliances aren't equipped to handle a significant amount of hydrogen. And critics say using green hydrogen for that purpose would just be greenwashing an industry that we need to be moving away from. I think it's one of the solutions that's required to uh, meet those net zero goals. Uh, you know, do we have the policy around safety and do we have the, you know, public input and education that they really understand what requires to make this a reality? So is green hydrogen really green? It ultimately depends on how it's made, how it's being used, and how it's being transported. But one thing is for sure, you'll be hearing about green hydrogen a lot more in the coming years. Thank you.